Do you ever find yourself setting a custom color over and over and over again when you're using Datagraph? Well, if that has happened to you, then you might not be taking full advantage of the customizability of the color menu. Hi, I'm Pamela Schultz, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to set custom colors within the color menu, and I'm going to show you a new feature in Datagraph 5.5 that's going to make this even easier. Setting the items in the color menu is not the same as a data-driven color scheme. That is also something Datagraph can do, and I'll put a link up there to a webinar that we did a while back that goes into a lot of detail on data-driven color schemes if that is something you're interested in too. Datagraph is a professional application for creating graphs, analyzing data, statistics, and in particular, for people who like their graphs to look unique and not like everyone else's that are out there, then Datagraph is a program that you might want to try out. If you haven't already, you can get Datagraph on the Mac App Store or from our website. Check out the link in the description of this video. First, let me talk about what the color menu is and how do you customize it. Pretty much any command within Datagraph, you will find color tiles that you can use to customize the color of the elements in that graph. And within that command, if you click on that color tile, you see a drop down menu of different colors you can choose from. And at the bottom, you will also see a customized color option. And if you click that, that'll bring up the color picker within the Mac OS system. Now, let me give you an example of say we have a graph where we have a line and we have a label and we've set them both to the same color within the color menu. We've set them to line color one. And you can use these colors in any ways you want. They're just organized into line colors. There's the error color, which is used as the default color for error bars, and then there's fill colors. In any case, we have this graph. Both are set to the same line color, but we want to customize the color. Well, the best way to do this is actually not within the command itself, but you want to go up to the style settings. And within the style settings, if you open that up, you will see a series of tiles that are the same colors that are in that color menu. And if you change the color there, it changes them in the color menu. And it also updates any elements in your graph that are using those colors. So this is a very convenient way to have multiple things set to the same color and to be able to change them all at once instead of multiple places where you have to customize the colors. There's also another big benefit to using the colors in the style settings, and that is once that you've set custom colors in your style settings, and note that there are also some presets there that you can choose from, but once you have these, you can apply those colors to other graphs really easily. For example, within the same graph, you can use the gear menu, or sorry, same file, you can use the gear menu to set all the graphs in that file to the same style settings, including updating the colors. And you can also select the style setting itself. You can copy it to your clipboard, go to another graph, and then do edit paste, and it will paste or essentially overwrite the style settings in the graph that you're pasting it into with the graph that you copied from. You can do this within the same file or even within other files. So this makes it really easy once you have set up custom colors in one graph to use it throughout your graphs. I hope now I've convinced you of the benefits of using the color menu and customizing it within the style settings. But there's something that used to happen, I know it happened to me on kind of a regular basis, that could be a little frustrating because let's go back to our example where we have a line set to a certain color and a label set to the same color. I know when I'm working in Datagraph and I'm working in my command, I'm often clicking around and customizing things. And it's not uncommon for me to just go ahead and be in that command and change the color to some custom color for, say, that line. But if I do that, now my label doesn't have the same color and I'm going to have to uh, set the label individually. Now the color tiles themselves, I will say you can drag and drop these. That is a cool thing to be able to do, but really what we wanted is to put this in the style settings. So what we've done in the latest version of Datagraph is if you set a custom color within a command, you can go back to the color menu, click it one more time, and you'll see a new option that allows you 
to update the color that's in the style settings. This is a really, really handy feature because now if I've set something up in one of my commands and I realize, ah, oh, I'd really like to use that color somewhere else, I can very easily then add it into my color menu using one of the color tiles there or resetting them so that it will then be in my color menu to use in other places in my file. Did you learn anything from this video? Do you think this feature will be helpful for you? Then let us know. You can drop me a note in the comments or go ahead and email us help at visualdatatools.com. And if this video was useful, then of course, please consider giving it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to our channel.